last video of mine, I recently built a shopping mall in Bloxburg and I said inside of the mall I'm going to be choosing a few of my subscribers to compete in a build battle. So today I invited six of my subscribers and each of them are going to be building a different store in the mall. For example, if they want to build an arcade, a cafe, a movie theater, it's completely up to them. The only thing is they will get one hour to finish their build, a budget of $100,000 and they can only build within the first floor of the shopping mall. And after that you guys will get to come on and vote for the winner. And the winner will receive either 200 Robux or 50k blocks by cash. So let's introduce today's builders. Usually I introduce them, but you know what? I'm just gonna let them introduce themselves. I always just say their usernames wrong anyway. Okay, over here we have U U UA. Hi, I'm Lily. Okay, that's that's easier than UA. We have August May. Is it August or is it May? Hi, I'm Silva. Sylvia. Sylvia. That wasn't really hard to ask. How did you struggle to say Sylvia? Hi, I'm Tegan. Hi, Tegan. Why is she kind of cute? Okay, and then over here we have the male version of Italic. Hi, I'm Lucas. I love cyber and my Italic era is my personality. I knew it. Okay, who is this strange vampire man? I'm the one and only nun. Yeah, his fit kind of goes hard though. I'm not gonna lie. And then finally we have... Is that Tarayami? Hi, I'm Violet and I'm so excited to be here. Oh, cute. She does kind of look Look like Tara Yummy though. Cute. Well, that is today's builders. Now, before we actually start building, did you all want to go inside and pick your stall? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you don't even have to tell me twice. Run, my little minions. Run. Minions, do not do it still, Zimun. I've had that stuck in my head. Okay, well, that is pretty easy. It looks like they've all chosen the store that they want to build in. So with that being said, the battle starts now. Good luck. Damn, that was fast. That was fast. I'm scared. Slow down, big fella. I also need to set a timer. Why is it that I've literally done 100 build battles and I always forget to set the timer for some reason? So if you didn't know, the mall consists of the first floor and the second floor. But the second floor has eight stalls, so if this build battle is successful, we will continue on the more build battle and go into floor two. Except this one will be eight builders, which is something that I've never done in a build battle before. It's always been either four or six. Never eight. Wait. Oh, actually, yeah, I have done eight. Yeah, yeah, that didn't end well. Maybe we'll stick to six. Next question. And then just goes so nervous that I forgot where everything is. That's me, for real. I'm super excited to see what everyone's doing because, oh my gosh, is that waterfall? Because I have absolutely no clue what any of these builders are doing. They could be building a McDonald's, a Sephora, a restaurant. I have no clue. So like this one right here. If I had this, I'd probably turn it into a gym. What's the wallpaper? Did they use dirt stains for their wallpaper? Dirt stains. They did. Interesting. Okay, what's this person doing? We have a counter over here. We've got cleaning equipment. I wonder what's going to be here. Maybe a laundromat? Maybe they do a little laundromat? Okay, what's up the back here? Another waterfall. Guys, it's like you know me so well. Oh, wait. Why do I have a feeling? This would be like a cool spa or a nail salon. It's gonna be hard to vote because what if there's like two really good ideas? What's over here? I can already tell by the neon lights. This is gonna be something either like an arcade or a movie theater, 100%. Lucas just goes, I'm stressed in Alaska. Why are you give me this pressure, uwu? I would feel bad, but you just said uwu, so suck it up. XOXO, gossip girl. <laughs> are you kidding me? I can't even say that. Okay, whoever's building this one. This is a jukebox. They've got slushy machines, drinks, coffee machine. This is an arcade. Oh my god, wait, are we gonna have two arcades? I didn't think about that. What if two builders have the same idea? And they're like right next to each other. Like, and this is the roller skating rink. I've got no clue. When we started, they're like, what do we build? And I'm like, I'm just like, build whatever. I don't care. There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. I'd build a pet store. I wish Bloxburg added pets. I know everyone's like, no, Bloxburg, don't add pets. You're gonna turn into adopt me. But you're telling me you wouldn't want a little pet cat in your Bloxburg house? Why is there a car? Why? <laughs> I need to color coordinate these builds because I don't know what to call them. I'm gonna change the color of the LED light. In build battles, how I usually call them colors. I mean, hello, I can just change the LED light. That's what color I can call them. I'm like Okay, what's going on with blue? The car is gone. Wow, okay, the builders now only have 50 minutes left. You now only have 50 minutes left. And they just go, oh, what? Why is this a floating car in my plot? Like, explain. Okay, let's have a look at all of the builds, starting with yellow. Usually, I would look at dirt stains on the wall and be like, ew, but why do I kind of dig it? Like, it doesn't even look that bad. And then over to the white store, we have what looks like to be a potential salon, either a hair salon or a nail salon. Sorry, I'm super keen to see what this turns out to be. And then over to pink, 
We have, I got no clue. Yeah, I genuinely have no clue. We have a lot of bookshelves, so maybe this will be a library? This is so confusing, I don't know. What about green? Green, what are you doing? Give me some clues. Okay, our only clue is a pillar. Interesting, I got no clue. Green, I have no idea what you're meant to be. I don't even know, like, I can't even tell you that. Okay, blue, definitely disco vibes, 100%. I knew blue would be like either a disco or a skating rink. Okay, over to red, what do we have? A kitchen. Surprisingly, I don't see any potential cafes. I feel like in a mall, you'd build a cafe, right? Maybe red could be a cafe. I mean, they do have a kitchen back here. At the same time, they also have a jukebox, so I'm not quite sure. While I let the builders do their thing, I'm gonna do my thing. And when I say my thing, I mean I'm going to stalk their plots. What is that? Right, um, who is this? Hegan, what are you doing? Did you guys do this? Like, do you just join Bloxburg and you're like, what do I build today? I'm gonna build this. And I'm, and I'm very proud of this. <laughs> what? Someone check in on Tegan. Is she okay? Why is there floating whatever that is? What? What is that? It's art. Oh. Right, moving on. All right, whose house do we have over here? We have none. None just looks like they have a mood station. And they also have a bunch of trees. Is this a tree farm? Wow, I haven't seen a tree farm in ages. And then over here we have Hugo. What's with the floating items in the air, guys? Okay, apparently Hugo is uh, forming an army of chefs. What about his house? Whoa, damn. Okay, Hugo is a bit of a millionaire. Okay, if I'm ever to rob one of you guys, I'm gonna rob Hugo, I think. Anyway, back to the build battle. A few updated things going on with blue. A weird conference table. The more I'm like, okay, I figured out what blue is, I come back and then he just surprises me. Okay, the mystery is yet to be solved with green. I still don't know what they're doing, so let's have a look. <gasps> a custom desk. You know what this means? I don't know. Okay, pink, how are you doing? Oh, okay, they stocked up some stuff on their shelves. They're not books though, which means this is not a library. Are they candles? Wait, maybe this is a candle shop. Maybe like a bath and body works. That would be, oh, that would be kind of cool. If someone done a real life store, someone actually asked me before if they were allowed to do a real life store, like Sephora or something. And I said, yeah. So I know one of these are going to be a real life store. I just don't know which one. Looks like white is still working on their little salon. I love what they've done at the back here. How it goes from the salon to the back of the store and then with orange A clothing store for orange, I think. Yep, definitely, because this little box here, it looks like it's gonna be a changing room. I wonder what type of clothing store, though. On a side note, though, the builders now have 40 minutes left to finish their store. I don't think Lucas likes this information. <laughs> oh my gosh, did Blue just add, like, 10 computers to their room? You know how much these computers are? $5,000. This man just spent $30,000 on computers when he has a budget of 100k. That was 30k of his budget just on computers. <laughs> Okay, update with green. Please, green. Let me know what you are because I don't know. I really want to figure out what green is. Killing me with the suspense. Just answer the question, okay? Please. Okay, I'm gonna watch green intensely for the next like five minutes and see what they add. I need to know. Five minutes later. Okay, I've been watching green for the past five minutes and I still don't know what they are. I think we will just never find out until the like very end. Oh, okay. And with a turn of events, apparently Blue is now doing a gym. First, this was an arcade. Then it was a meeting room and now it's a gym. Lucas just said, yes, I'm making a gym. L Lucas, how can you hear me? I didn't even ask you that. Lucas, can you hear me? <laughs> he just goes, yes. I'm in your computer. Okay, now update with red. Ooh, okay. Okay, cozy cafe. I love how this is just such a vibe. And then you see, you see outside. It's like, what is that? I have a feeling they're doing an industrial themed cafe. I love the waterfalls at the back here. I really thought they were doing an arcade, but no. The leaves on top of the wall shelves, devoured. Okay, now coming all the way over to yellow. Ooh, we have a few updates with yellow. I can see them adding leaves at the back of their store. I'm glad they changed their clothes clothing racks because I think before they had the really colorful ones that you can't change the colors. This is actually such a vibe. I wonder what they're going to do with the clothing racks though. A store like this would be super cool, nice and elegant. Even for the changing rooms, you could do something like this so it's not too bulky, it doesn't take up too much space. And a little update with the time, they now only have 30 minutes left. 30 minutes 
left. Oh, whoops. I said 39. Last guy disconnected. Oh, no. Lucas, you need to get build mode, buddy. Get back in here right now. Scared me, Lucas. Okay, how's White going? I haven't checked on them in a while. I think they're doing a hair salon. I just have a gut feeling they're, uh, they're doing a hair salon for some reason. Okay, Pink, how are you, my darling? Oh, we've got soaps. We've got hand soaps. We have a fancy schmancy sink. What is the bet? Pink is doing bath and body works. I want to ask them. Are any of you doing a in real life store? Most people said no, so now I'm confused. I was so convinced Pink was doing bath and body works, but now I don't know. Lucas is a strange one. I just I just opened chat and all I see is Alaska scream as loud as you can. Lucas, are you planning on murdering me? What's going on? In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. Okay, I have a little squeaky feeling that Green is doing something cafe related. We then have the blue gym. Definitely a gym. It's just said my gym's gonna eat this up. Alaska can build up that dump truck. Um, excuse me, Lucas. I don't need to build up my dump truck. It's already plumped oh, and yeah. dumped. What does this channel turn into? Oh, red. It's such a vibe in here. Waterfalls. I feel like I'm in Avatar. Different vibes of these stores are giving me whiplash. We've got nice, cozy, relaxing cafe. And then, boom, cyberpunk gym. Oh, wait. A cyberpunk themed gym? <gasps> when I build my own house, I'm making a gym. But I'm doing it cyberpunk themed. So I kind of feel bad because some of them have cash registers and some of them don't. So I think I'm going to buy a few of these fancy cash registers. So at least everyone will have access to them. Oh, someone just took one. Great. Why is there a mouse hole? You, you guys don't think I see that, do you? Who added mouse hole in my mall? No, it wasn't me. You guys think you're so slick, don't you? Well, joke's on you. You now have 20 minutes left. I actually have like 15 minutes left, but I kind of forgot to check the time and I forgot to tell them, so oops. So then when I say 10 minutes left, they're gonna be like, whoa, that felt so fast. I'm like, yeah, I wonder why. I promise I didn't forget the time. I found out who placed the mouse hole. Lucas, I placed the mouse hole, oopsies. No, Lucas, you don't just oopsies place a mouse hole. How'd that get in there? Well, I mean, with this short amount of time left, I'd say they're going really well for a budget, especially because they have such a little area to work with. They don't have to place too many items. This gym is really cool, though. I think Lucas done a pretty good job. I, I love how I know it's Lucas. You know what I love about build battles? The fact that all of these builders are stressing out, and I'm just I'm just observing them like, okay, why? how are you doing, my love? Don't you guys love when Bloxburg adds stained, uneven stripes and dirt stains as a way to be like, ew, that's an ugly texture, and people use it for fun. And the funny thing is, it doesn't even look bad either. How is my pink store going? Oh, you just know by walking in here, it smells good. Oh, they're coloring. This is gonna be fun. Incoming time lapse of them coloring. Damn, that was intense. You know what else is intense? Now they only have 10 minutes left. <laughs> I'm scared to tell them they have 10 minutes left because it went by so fast. Hopefully they're nearly all done. I really hope so. Red looks pretty much done. We then have blue, which I mean, it is a gym, so you don't have to add too many furniture items in here. And then as for green, I wish I could tell you. Once this build battle finishes, I need to ask Green, what are you? I think they're a cafe though, to be honest. And then with pink, definitely something to do with soaps. And they just added a floor sign, so I think they're pretty close to being done. As for white, I think they're going pretty well. I love these little custom chairs they added. Usually in these build battles, I let them build for the last 10 minutes, and I will just sit back and observe. So why is there a spider on my mall? I swear, every single time I do a build battle, one of these prank me. Why do you do this to me? Okay, so I'm gonna jump out of build mode for the last 10 minutes i'm just gonna let them do their thing and by the looks of it one of them are done this is probably so risky because i'm out of build mode so what if one of them is just destroying the mall on the inside and i won't know until i go in imagine that after 10 minutes i go inside everything's deleted well that would be a way to end the build battle Dab on them. <laughs> 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and time you now have five minutes to change all your decals run run this is serious i don't know why but i find it so funny and they all just run like little ants okay, i'm gonna wait until they change all the decals because i want the store to be a little bit of a surprise for me oh my gosh guys is this the male version of me uh hello <laughs> we do we twin it okay so they've all changed their decals so let's have a look inside these Finnish stores, starting with, I think this was red before, but they changed it back to orange. So what is this? Violet Cafe. Oh, my cafe. Oh, this is cute as. I love the whole industrial theme they went with. The aesthetic in here. Mwah. The kitchen as well. It's very simple, very elegant at the same time. I think this is really cute. And I also love the fact that this store has windows. Most of the stores don't, but, but you know what? They picked a good store. So moving on. Next up, we have 
Gym of Entertainment. Oh, this is kind of nice. What is this? And this into this. The marketing in this gym is top tier. I love the fact that each of the treadmills even have their own TV. One thing though is I absolutely hate gyms at malls. I feel like they're so busy. I went to a gym in a mall once. So crowded with like 15 year old boys with mullets. I got scared and I left. Time we've all been waiting for. What is the green store? The Bean Cafe. Oh, coffee, cakes and pastries. I knew it. I mean, it was very clear that it was a cafe, but <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out, but this is adorable. Interesting concept with the kitchen. We've got waterfalls. Back here, we have a massive bathroom. This is huge. Whoa. Over here, we have... Oh, I knew it. I knew this was a bath and body work. I not say at the beginning of the video, what's the bet this is a bath and body works? Someone just goes, I can smell it. Yeah, as soon as you walk into the store, you just know it smells good in here. I love the black and white theme. All the soaps are placed so like organized. I don't even think that's a word, but you know. And then we have custom wallpaper back here, as well as the waterfalls. And now next up, we have the beauty salon. Well, as soon as you walk in here, the vibes are immaculate. Some vintage decals. Okay, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna sit here. You can gladly do my hair. It's been the same for the past two years. <laughs> I think I need a change. Okay, at the back here, we've got the employees only. So a bunch of towels and washing machines. The typical stuff you have in a hair salon. And then last but not least, we have orange, which is Rudolph Clove Store. I adore the color palette they used in here. They just go, ew, it's my one. What do you mean, ew, this is cute. I love the fact that they even added a changing room as well. So super creative. And now it's time to invite you guys on to vote for the winner. And as I can tell, oh my gosh, people are already joining. I'm here to haunt you. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna hide. What is that? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm almost dying. That was so scary. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hide in the car. Hopefully no one will see me. We already have some weird, weird people joining. I can just see that demon. Can you guys see that? How is that allowed on Roblox? Like, how is that costume allowed on Roblox? Oh my, can you? Oh no. Hi, sisters. <laughs> Right, well, people are now looking at all of these stores around the mall, and hopefully by the end, they will be picking a winner. And I think this is gonna be pretty hard because all of the stores are really creative in their own way. So I'm gonna let everyone look around, and then we'll count all of the votes in the stores. I love how I'm like, guys, vote for the winner. And what are they doing? Climbing up the escalators. Okay, so I guess we'll start off with the Rudolph Clothing Store. So the Rudolph Clothing Store gets one, two, three, four votes. Next up, we have the Beauty Salon with one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine votes. Next up, Bath and Body Works. Ew, 18. Okay, 18 votes for Bath and Body Works. Next up, the Bean Cafe with one, two, three votes. And then the gym with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven votes. And last but not least, the Violet Cafe with. There are so many weird costumes, I don't even know what to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 votes. Oh, <gasps> we have a tie. Hi, it's me editing. So I just realized I counted the votes wrong. The Violet Cafe got 17 votes and the Bath and Body Works got 18, but in my head I thought they both got 17. I don't know, but I done this whole thing where I invited everyone out to the front of my plot and I was like, vote for the winner. A anyway, um, Bath and Body Works ended up winning anyway, so it's fine, but yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna and quickly announce this. What? what are you doing? You! And what is this? Is this your wife? What are you cheating on me now? You farted in that car. Yeah, you should go in there. Pass out for my farts. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> there is a tie. Okay, so I've decided along this footpath, if you want to vote Bath and Body Works, you will go on the left. And if you will vote the Violet Cafe, you will go on the right. All right, so let's attempt to count this. So on the Violet Cafe, we get... Congratulations to Bath and Body Works. They have officially won today's build battle. Okay, so here we have the winner of today's more build battle. Because they're on my Roblox group, I get to send them 200 Robux for winning. This was so much fun, and I'm hoping to continue it on if you guys like the series. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!